Well, off you go into the second half, and Celtic now have the strong wind, and obviously a sense of urgency in uh, trying to get to this cup final. St Mirren haven't been in a cup final for 22 years, so there's a particular incentive for them. That's Cooper. McGregor looking rather cumbersome there. Tommy Burke. And I would imagine that Celtic will be trying to exploit and uh, harness the wind uh, as St. Mirren did, using the abilities of McAvenny McDougall. surprising usually very good to lay the ball off to McStay McClare McGrain are we going to have a left foot shot we are well we're, we're going to have a look at that again because very rarely do you see Danny McGrain having a goal like that there you are he's He's not noted, he's very short shy, he's the only weakness in his game, and there he is, suddenly saw his opportunity. Well, give him about 8 out of 10 for that. So then it simply can't put it together, we're just at the occasional attack upfield in the second half. Almost got all the 15 minutes gone, in fact. Neatly tucks away, there's Buns with a shot, and he tried to... It was, in fact, uh, McLeod trying to swing it round. Celtic exerting great pressure. Monty McLeod. Ball played across there by Buns. And there was McLeod to curl it round, almost putting it in. Straight slot. Mugabe for Melrose. <laughs> well, he hasn't touched the ball yet, but he has touched an opponent. Exit Mirren player, of course, Frank Mugabe. Great challenge for him to come on, and he's already in the wars. Free kick, great challenge for him to come on, because uh, the very fact that he's on the sub's bench is the manager saying to him, well, prove your worth now. Proven with it. It's got a bad ball. Proven goes in, looks at the referee. One or two Celtic players shouting for the penalty. McGrain. And he tops it up and safely there. Scanlon. And the whistle has gone for that uh, tackle by Reed. It's a free kick to St. Bernard. Here's Scanlon. That's a good ball. McGregor wildly away. Well, I knew we'd get this as well. Made cold day wind, and now the rain. Oh well, it's a Scotty spring. Well played out by McGarvey. Buns looking very threatening. He's going himself. 
Brilliant tackle. McStay with a shot. Just pass. And if the game goes like this, you get the impression it's only a matter of time before Celtic do put the ball in the back of the net. It's been almost constant pressure in the second half. Very much like this. One of the best moves of the game. Tommy Burns. Piercing this defence. A beautiful run, but just watch the quality of the tackle there. Absolutely fair. And now McStay with a shot that rattled past. Burns. St. Mullen clearing desperately. It's Mugabe. The fair play, that was McGrain stepping in. Celtic's confidence rising by the second. Derby. Here's Proven. The fair ball and a save brilliantly from the player. Save of the match, that was. Look, this is goalkeeping at its best. Now that was going right for the net. And up and away it went. Robin, it will swing in viciously. Fulton can't get it. Agave. this time all I think has gone over go kick and I would imagine that Thompson will take his time about this give a side of breather exactly 10 minutes remaining and we've had the uh, last 20 minutes of almost incessant Celtic pressure good goalkeeping by Billy Thompson very very packed at one defense kicking the ball anywhere Fulton. Grain right down the line. Looked like a foul throw to me. Mugabe. What's the one two? Barnes is there. Ooh, it shaded away. Post. And Thompson said. In the 36th minute of the second half, an extraordinary turn of events. Well, off the post it came, and it looked as if that submitted goal would remain intact, and then it looked away from its day. Very substantial and enthusiastic support, hearts.